From the point I had the ball, I was able to recognize that I was in an extremely dangerous space for a wide forward. I decided to take a chance and dribble directly towards the goalkeeper. And at that point, I felt like it was a little bit of muscle memory, a little bit of mental composure that I had to keep because I knew how high stakes this play was and how quality of a chance it was and that I didn't want to waste it. We're just moments from kicking off in this one, the third place game of the CONCACAF W Championship. Since we were top two, the top two in the other group were Canada and Costa Rica. We played Canada, Costa Rica played the U.S. We lost to Canada, Costa Rica lost to the U.S. But then we played Costa Rica for third place. Third and second place will play each other September of this year for an Olympic play. -in. For the Costa Rica game, I recall warming up for about 60 minutes on the sideline since we were going into overtime. They wanted to keep everyone on the sideline warm and ready to go in. There's a lot of great players that were on the bench during that time, so I didn't know if I was going to be picked to go in. Trudy Carter, the winger, will be the one being replaced by Calissa Van Zanten. Van Zanten has some pace. It was the very last game of the tournament, so we had to leave it all out there, and people were making great tackles, making great plays, and there was a whole lot of energy on the field, and I could feel that as soon as I stepped on, and I knew I needed to either match it or even bring more energy. What the coach said to me before I checked in was he put both his hands on my shoulders and looked me directly in the eyes and said, this is your time, go get your goal. At the beginning of the play, we started with a high pressure from our center forward, and we ended up picking the ball up in the midfield. Our center back won a great header that our midfielder then connected to Drew Spence. Me and her have had a great connection on the field and practices, and the practice before the game, we had been working on that exact play. Noticing that she picked up the ball, I made eye contact with her right before, and as you can see me on the inside of the defender, where she could see me for a second, it takes a quick second to pull out on their back shoulder because they were focused on the ball and their shape and trying to stay connected with their back line. And knowing that's their priority, having a blindside run on an outside back through the second pocket between the center back and the outside back is extremely dangerous because you're not in their point of view and they're mo more focused on keeping their line high. So after I had recognized that she had the ball and we made eye contact with me pulling off the back shoulder, she played an absolutely amazing ball, perfect timing, perfect weight. Um, I was able to bring it down with just one first touch and the way that the goalie came out, her hands were pretty low to the ground and I feel like she didn't make herself extremely big so I did my best to keep the ball low and hard and in the corners because it's a lot easier for goalies to make saves from their knees and above because they can reach those areas a lot quicker than getting down lower to the ground so I went for the low and hard shot in the lower left corner of the goal and if you watch the video it's a matter of inches. Shire just opts for a shot there. It was a good combination of trying to play long through Van Zanten. Ooh. And now this ball slipped in. It's Van Zanten again. A good first touch. The right footed shot. And it's in. Van Zanten just coming into the game. Converts in the 102nd minute on a split ball from the midfield. What a finish for the 20 year old. What the win meant in the CONCACAF Women's World Cup qualifying tournament was just that all of our hard work and everything that we had done to prepare had paid off and that this is only our second time ever qualifying for the World Cup. I'm just so proud of the team and all the support that we have from people in the United States who maybe are fans of the Jamaican women's national team and people at home in Jamaica. Anything that I need, Notre Dame has been able to provide me to elevate my game, increase my soccer IQ, increase my soccer intelligence. I'm so grateful for everything that Notre Dame has given me in order to compete on a world stage that has allowed me to stay on this team, the Jamaican Women's National Team, for over a year and hopefully far into the future. And I know that they're going to do everything in their power to prepare me for this summer and represent myself, Notre Dame, Jamaica in the best way possible.